Somebody has killed the rainbow friends and today we find out who. Here we go again. Rainbow friends play place. Uh oh. We might find out right away who killed the rainbow friends. That kind of looks like red. All right, there's orange snoring away. Ugh, how am I supposed to get any beauty sleep with all this racket? What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to a brand new Rainbow Friends Game Tunes animation. So today, apparently someone has killed the Rainbow Friends, and it's actually one of the Rainbow Friends. I'm not sure who it's going to be. My guess is red. Then again... It's a great excuse for a midnight snack. What? Oh my gosh, maybe maybe lightning killed the rainbow oh, yeah, friends. Baby. Give orange his tasty treats. Oh, oh. Come on. Why is the power going out? Okay, I have a new theory. This is the part of the video where I guess it. Also, wait, time out really quickly. Last time, I guessed the entire video, and someone in the comment section said that I watched the video ahead of time and cheated. Guys, if you've ever watched my videos, I am always so far off with my predictions. I just got lucky last time. Here's my guess for this video. Orange gets mad because he doesn't have enough food, and he eats all of the other rainbow friends. I'm starving over here. When did Orange become Italian? Hey, is someone there? It's too late at night for any weird pranks, so cut it out. Seriously. If you're some dumb teenager looking for a spook, I'm not in the mood. So it's not orange. My prediction's already wrong this week. Gosh, his mouth opens at a 90 degree angle. It's kind of impressive. That was the first time I had ever been to the Rainbow Friends Play Place. I'd always wanted to go as a kid. I'd beg my parents to take me there every year for my birthday, though we never had the money. Of course, that was when they were just people in costumes. No, I'm glad I never went. This place is evil, rotten to the core. We arrived as soon as we could, but it was already too late. Who's this guy? Orange was dead. And I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't care how long you've been on the force. It never gets any easier. You know, I have a question. Every time I watch a crime scene show or a movie, they always trace the body, uh, but the body's just laying there. Couldn't they just look at the body to figure out what shape it was? Maybe it's for after they remove the body and they're still trying to figure out. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Uh, never mind. Let's get back to the video. To make matters worse, he wasn't the only one. Green, what? purple, even blue. All the rainbow friends are gone. I thought we were going to be dealing with some kind of criminal mastermind. But here you were, just laying on the floor. Murder weapon close by your side. Okay, wait a second. We are two minutes and five seconds into this video, and we've already solved the crime? Now I'm starting to think something else is going on. Maybe it's not Red. Maybe Red was framed by the guy that's talking, the detective. That's my new guess. I have a new prediction. Uh, it's the detective that killed all of the rainbow friends, and he's framing Red because he's allergic to the color red. It's an open and shut case, Red. You wanted revenge for the other rainbow friends turning you into this horrifying bug-eyed freak. Too easy. I'd be mad too, because you are one ugly son of a it's, gun. It's too easy. That's enough, detective. So why don't you just make this a heck of a lot simpler for me, you, and everyone else in the precinct, and just confess, you killed the rainbow friends. No, I swear, I'm an innocent man. Listen here, pal. If there's one thing in this world I know with 100% confidence, it's that you aren't innocent or a man. You're a guilty killer mutant, and I won't stop until you're rotted behind bars. I was a jailbreak cop for years before joining the server. I'm gonna make sure you never see the sun again. You hear me? Huh? Detective, please. My point being, we got motive. We also got the weapon. And soon, we'll have the autopsy reports. That's all we need for a conviction, Red. And some. So, you better start talking. Because your whole story isn't making a whole lot of sense. Fine. I'll tell you everything I know. Wait a second. I have another question. How does Red talk if he doesn't have a mouth or a nose for that matter? The first thing I remember was a very loud scream. My private quarters are decently soundproofed, and I was still a bit hazy from having just woken up. 
But I could recognize the voice very vividly. It was unmistakably Orange. So Orange was the first one killed. That makes sense. I think I Red is telling the truth. I to the security monitors, which can run on backup battery power. When I turned them on, I couldn't believe my eyes. Orange was dead, in his own hideout, no less. I flipped through the camera feed to search for answers. It was dark and hard to see, Who's but somebody, that? or something, that looked exactly like me was running through the halls. Is it they Super Mario? Uh-huh. So you're saying someone impersonating you killed the Rainbow Friends? It would appear so. I'm not buying it. We saw those tapes too. And you're right. It looks exactly like you. But that doesn't really help your case now, does it, Hotshot? What happened next? It was going to be impossible to find answers in the dark, so I needed to reboot the generator. I was on my way there when I heard... That's where I found There's victim green. number two, Green, dead on the ground. He always enjoyed that room for some reason. Maybe it was the rhythmic hum of the electronics. That's where I saw a glimpse of the killer rushing out of the room. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I want to go back really quickly. If we pause it, the s Oh! All right, it looks exactly like red. Wait, what? How is it not red? Who is it? It's got to be somebody with a red costume on. the killer rushing out of the room. I contemplated chasing him down, but I knew I needed to get the generator up and running again. He needed the darkness to carry out his plans. Unfortunately, our killer knew this all too well. He sabotaged the generator to make sure the play place would remain dark throughout the night. It was time to take matters into my own hands and find the others before he did. Who did it? I searched it? up and down all around the facility with no luck until... There goes Blue! I the direction of the stream all the way to Hamlock Woods. And sure enough, right on the bridge, I see him, purple. He'd often visit the river ride and splash around in the water. That's why there was always puddles outside our vents. Then I saw our killer again. He was making a break for it downstream in one of the log boats. I wasn't going to let him get away this time. I hopped in another boat and gave chase. I paddled and paddled as fast as I could, but he always remained just out of my sight, in the shadows. I followed him to the end of the line. He should have been cornered, totally trapped, but he was nowhere to be found. It's like he vanished into thin air. In fact, the only thing I did find was Boo's body floating in the water. Okay, maybe Red is just going insane and it actually is him. Like, he's killing all of the people, then he forgets that he does it, so when he looks on the camera, it, it looks like him, but he doesn't remember doing it. I don't know. I really don't know who this is, but this is one heck of a mystery. That was it. No killer apprehended. No more rainbow friends to save. Having exhausted all leads, I went back to my office and called you all. Told you there had been an accident and to come quick. That's the last thing I remember until... Is he looking in a you, mirror? You all were putting me in handcuffs. And that's the whole story. Wow, you really got a lot of nerve coming up with a wackadoodle story like that. What do you take me for? Some kind of moron? There are only five rainbow friends, and four of them are dead. It doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out who's responsible here. I think it's rocket scientist and brain surgeon. There's no such thing as a rocket surgeon. Doesn't make any sense. I, ah. Uh, Excuse me, detective? Ah, come on, he was just about to crack. But we just got the autopsy reports back. Turns out those bodies we found weren't bodies at all. They were just really lifelike suits. What? That can't possibly be correct. Run the test again, go. Yes, sir. What? Wait, remember what you said earlier? Of course, that was when they were just people in costumes. Play Place used to use realistic Rainbow Friends suits. So no one actually died? Of course they did! You're just some sicko that replaced the bodies. We still found you next to the murder weapon. No, think about it. We followed wet footprints into Red's office. But Red never got wet. He never went in the water. The only person who did was... Blue! Oh my god. I know what happened. 
Blue must have discovered the old oh. suit somewhere, including one for Red, and came up with a scheme to frame him. He'd always wanted revenge for you turning him into a monster, so he waited for a night where your power would inevitably shut off to put on the Red costume, proceeded to capture each one of the Rainbow Friends one by one, replacing them with fakes. It was a perfect crime. All the security camera footage will point to Red since the darkness hit his face, and he even made sure to keep you alive the whole time and leave the knife next to your unconscious body. Yep, clearly Blue is the man responsible here. Thanks for all your help, officer. Without you, I never would have solved this thing. So you're going to arrest him? For what? Not killing anyone? We save that for actual killers. Why is Piggy there now? Okay, I have a lot of questions. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.